at today's video I will show you how to make your own dolphin sensor bar to use your Wiimote to point and select at a game of V games. So first of all let me tell you what you need to do this. First of all any USB cable as you will plug it to LEDs and uh, resistance. So you probably have an old unworking USB cable. You will use one of it. You will need four uh, infrared LEDs. I will also give a picture of it but as you see here is how it's uh, set two on left and two on right we also have a resistor uh, so if I give a diagram here is how it looks like the LEDs actually have two legs the long leg is the plus and the short leg is minus port so you will use two on left and two on right you will have a 10 ohm of resistor the resistor will be connected to the minus part of the infrared the infrared will be 1.2 volts infrared LEDs. You shouldn't use more than four infrared LEDs because 1.2 volt multiplied with four will make 4.8 volts. As your USB will be five volt, you will not be able to uh, power more than four LEDs. And as I will show, four LED is enough to easily control your V mode as a pointer at a V game. So, and it's very cheap. You will probably, you won't need to pay for a USB as you will probably have an old one. The 10 ohm resistor is actually like half dollars, like 0. like 50 cent. Every infrared uh, LED is also maximum 30, 35, uh, I mean, cents. So in total, it will be maximum uh, $1.5 for the LEDs, maximum 50 cent for the resistor. So $2 for the uh, electrical parts. You can easily buy it from an electric uh, shop like a radio shock or something and that's all you might also use a, this kind of plastic uh, cable uh, channel or something so that it looks more professional now what you do is you easily uh, get the red cable, the plus cable of the USB to the long side of the LED. These two actually you twist and they get together. Then with an electric cable, you just uh, make a serial uh, connection from the minus part, the short leg of the LED to the long plus part of the other LED. You again twist these two legs, this one and this one. And then from the minus of the other LED, the short leg of the last LED, you get a cable and you put the resistor, 10 ohm resistor over there to the minus part and then minus also goes to the USB. That's it. Now I will plug my USB and normally when we get closer 
you don't see any light but when i plug it to a power bank or to a tv or a, a computer but the usb port should be able to give at least five volts otherwise your led will not be powered and the v mode will not work as it is uh, powered you can see the purple or reddish lights at the leds now let's look to the other part this part also has the power so i know that the leds are ready to use Okay. okay, now I have my V mode ready. It is connected to my uh, V console. So, what I do is I just direct it to the LEDs and look. Here we go. Simple. You have learned how to make your own infrared. Uh, I mean the sensor bar with using an old USB cable for infrared LEDs each of them 1.2 volt and a 10 ohm resistor I hope this has been helpful for you and as an extra note another way of using your remote and pointing is using two candles I will also show that video link at the top right corner and there is also a third way to use uh, cell phone camera lights or other kind of ways I will also show that video link on top right corner so within this video i have showed a long video of using the leds and the resistor and the usb to make your own led sensor bar not to need candles or using candles or using led camera lights i hope it has been helpful for you and as an extra of course this will not look like this i will put the power on it voila you can also color it to black if you want you can have a tape a two-sided tape so that you can put it on tv or as i do at a good place under the TV here we go again voila take care and I hope you like my tutorial bye bye